So hello Yolanda, it really looks like we're in a Paris street, like Rue Cambon. We have this lovely Chanel shop right here, but actually we are at Grand Palais in the aftermath of the Chanel show uh, today in Paris. So what did you think first of this wonderful show? Um, I think it's amazing to come to the Chanel show all, all the seasons. Every season is something surprising and amazing. But here today is really, really, really extremely fantastic because you, you walk in and you think you really are in the street, as you said. And the, the, at the street you like because some streets are not so beautiful as this. And it's surprising and it gives you a lot of energy to come in and see this, this performance. You've been following the Paris Fashion Week. How has it been so far? What is your general impression? General impression is uh, for some, it, it, it's uh, some designers they like uh, to be more austere because of the, maybe because of the crisis, the general crisis. So you can see a lot of black, austere, very pure lines. But on the other hand, we found also there is so much luxury in some designers. So it's like uh, you have the both, the both sides. So what are the main trends that we have to keep for summer 2009? We have seen a lot. We have seen the 50s, the 80s. You have seen pink. We have seen blue. We have seen a lot of cocktail dresses, a lot of black. We have seen very, very, very mini things and very, very long. So you have, as I told you in, this, in these times, that you can wear almost everything. You can find almost everything. Yeah. What, are, what were the, the, the big important pieces from the season that you would like to use in a Vogue shoot? Yeah, uh, I would like to use like a, a total look for, of Balmain, like for example the jacket, like the Michael Jackson inspired jacket, or the trousers, the sort of jean, snow jean trousers. Also I would love to use the baggy pants from Dries Van Noten, look amazing in a ladylike shoot, or some piece of Lacroix, the Spanish inspired Torero pieces from Lacroix looks, would look very, very good in Spanish Vogue. What about bags? What kind of uh, handbags did you see on the runway in Paris? Uh, we've seen a little clutch or we've seen big ones. I think Chanel would be a very good example because you have everything. You have the big one, the small one, the square, the knots, the, the round, you know, the one to go in the night for the day. I think Chanel, it's always a basic and it's always one you should have. And for the shoes, I think uh, very high heels like Stella McCartney would be amazing or the Dries Van Noten shoes were really, really nice as well. So can you tell me what happened at the Riquel show? Because it, it was a big celebration for Riquel, right? Yeah, it was the 40th anniversary, so they uh, did a dinner with the show. And so we went there at around 9 o'clock. You, you had the dinner, sitting dinner, very, very big, uh, very nice, the place. And uh, at the end, uh, with the dessert, we had the show, and it was an amazing show with uh, a surprise that was all the French designers uh, giving one look to Sonia Rickel inspired on her and her personality. So you had from Gaultier, from whatever, all of them, Nina Ricci, all of them gave one look and it was such a, a nice present I think for her.